Hello, Sabre people. This is my third demo video of the day. Uh, I'm, I'm flagging, so <laughs> bear with me. This is another commission build for Adam. It is a Chaos Sabres Desert Wanderer. This one has been weathered by Multiverse Props, I believe. Uh, looks fantastic. It's really pretty. I love this hilt. Um, it's incredibly heavy, a really well-made hilt. Um, I have one of these myself and it's probably one of the nicest ones in my collection. I love it. So um, this demo video is going to be a little bit different today because you didn't send over the uh, emitter piece that has the retention screws in, the, the one that's designed to hold a blade. So I can't actually put a blade in it and show it off. But what I can do is show off the colours on the NeoPixels at the top. Um, so just to run through the install on this one, I have chassis here. This is installed with a Verso board. Um, this is one of my first installs with Verso. I did tinker around with it a while ago um, to not great results. But now that I actually sat down and got my head around a Verso board set up, super straightforward, really easy install, no problem at all, just requires a little bit different wiring and thinking outside the box because it doesn't support all the features that like a Profi or a CFX does. Um, running through the components, we have this stock eco connector at the top, which makes connection with a PCB which lives inside the thin neck here, transfers the signal up to the NeoPixels up top underneath the blade plug. Uh, we have this tactile switch here, this PCB, um, which contains the two switches the Verso board itself, SD card, battery terminals, kill switch, and a 28 millimeter eight ohm speaker. I did originally install this one with a four ohm speaker and the crackle that was coming out of it was disgusting. So we had to swap that out for an eight, mil, uh, eight ohm speaker instead. And the result is much better, way happier with it. Um, so in terms of fonts on here, there aren't a huge amount. I'm trying to off the top of my head remember how many there are. I think there's about six or seven or so, um, all Obi-Wan themed. Uh, whether it be from like the prequels, the sequels, or the Kenobi TV show. So there's a couple bundles on here as well. So you've got some variation in the color. And then I also threw all of the Kyberphonic Workshop ones on here as well, which is your basic suite that all sound a little bit different. It's like red, green, blue, yellow, purple, white. And that's your lot. Um, did you a chrome wrapped battery? <clears throat> Just for a bit of visual zhuzh. So the battery on this guy, uh, that's the negative side down the bottom, and this is the negative side on the battery, the flat side. So in this case, the positive points upwards in the chassis. Pop the battery in like that, and then flip the kill switch. Um, with the Verso board, I sometimes find that you don't always get a boot sound. Uh, it, maybe I've just configured it wrong, who knows? But I found a way to double check that it's definitely on, as if you double tap the AUX button down the bottom, it'll change font. There we go, so yes, we are turned on. So let's just go for a Kyberphonic blue. Or a green, there's a lot of lag on the Verso board as well, which is irritating. So with that, <clears throat> I'm gonna unscrew the lower pommel to put the chassis in. This grenade section piece here stays. It's literally just the lower pommel that you want. I need to give a little bit of elbow grease. That piece comes all the way off. Uh, when sliding this chassis in and out, what I like to do is just check that the plungers are in the um, up position in the resting position because I did have a problem with the Desert Wanderer a few months ago where sliding the chassis in but the plungers had been like uh, kind of stuck down and it meant that the buttons just got completely sheared off the PCB and it was a world of pain. Zero out of ten would not recommend doing that so always make sure that the plungers are up and the spring is pushing them out of the way. This chassis only goes in one way. The button PC here lines up with the buttons there obviously so just slide it in carefully. I think I misaligned that one actually. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a series of guide rails, so you'll know when it's going in correctly because it will actually go. So the chassis is quite snug, you might have to give it a little bit of a nudge like that. But then when it's in, it's in. Lower piece, screw that guy back on. And you're away. So I can't remember which way around I've wired this. I think the top one is your activation. Yep, top one's your activation. There you go, you got the shine through from the Neo Pixels. Um, I've done you a Chaos Sabers pixel stick blade as well, um, which you'll plug in up here with the, when you put the emitter piece and light up the blade just fine. And I have tested that one, it's all working. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll send you, I'll send you the button controls because I'm not massively familiar with the Verso buttons myself yet. I have been tinkering with this and kind of getting things dialed in and feeling nice. Um, but it's obviously always good to refer back to the buttons where possible. Um, it's a really solid hilt, nice and heavy, uh, and the Verso board does a fantastic job of just being a fairly capable, light up, smooth swing saber. It doesn't have 
like I said, the features, a lot of the features that like the CFX and the Profi have, so you don't get the track player um, or anything like that. But it does the quotes, it does the flash on clash, it does the blasters, it does everything else you could want really from a, uh, from a light up saber. Uh, like I said, chassis being snug, just give it little tiny wiggles as you pull it out until you get some friction on it and then the whole thing comes out. Um, yeah, that's your lot. If anything stands out, give me a shout. I will just run through a couple more of the colors so you can see those in a better setting. So that's a blue. Green. Green. That's your lot. It sounds bassier when it's in the hill, obviously, but because the speaker is kind of recessed, it's still got quite a bit of punch to it, which is nice. Um, one of the first installs I've done with a Verso board, there are definitely some teething issues to get over with a Verso. Um, but other than that, once it's set up and wired properly, the config is really easy to change. And I think that's the really good selling point with the Versos is that you can change the config so easily. Um, it's literally just a text file or an uh, any file that lives on this SD card. You just alter that and away you go. Um, I've set it up so that the blade styles and the colors match their respective sources. So like all the Kenobi stuff from the show, they all have a sequel style blade. Um, all the prequel stuff have a prequel style blade, things like that. And then any unstable blades are uh, programmed independently as well. There's no accent lighting or anything on this guy. So that's your lot really. Um, I hope you're happy with it. If anything stands out, give me a shout and I will get it changed up and before I send this over to you. Um, otherwise, I'll get it shipped out as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for commissioning me, Adam. Um, that's you a lot. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. May the force be with you and I'll see you all the next time. Bye.